Hi Aries, welcome to my channel. My name is Kem. So today, Aries, for your meditative session, I got the Two of Coins. So well, what I see right away with this card is I feel like you're the mother, right, in the situation. And I'm getting a lot of mother energy in this card. It doesn't necessarily have to be about a mother. But I have like a bear in the background, which also reminds me of like mother like energy. So I would want to say this could be about a mother and a child, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. I think it, this could also be about a person, you know, and like a relationship, right? A loving relationship because I see two people here that are looking at each other lovingly and like happily. So I feel like this could have a lot to do with love. I feel like this, I mean, 100% has to do with love. Even though we don't have like any cup energy here, we have a lot of coin, but I'm feeling definitely like a, a cup vibe here. And I think with her feet, it's reminding me kind of an, of an anxious energy so i feel like whatever this decision is or whatever you're juggling or i i, I don't know if it's like a specifically a decision or a way of like being because with the bear turning into a kid and the kid turning back into a bear there's something here about transformation there's something here about like two sides though but it's not about duality i think it's like a person maybe this person is transforming maybe you're transforming i don't know there's some transformation going on here and it, like i'm getting reminded with the bears i think like maybe this decision has to do with one aspect of you versus another i don't know it's interesting energy aries but let's pull some more and see what we get So I think that this has to do again with cup energy, right? And I kept saying, I kept feeling cups, cups, cups. And we have the ace of cups that, that was at the bottom of the deck and the 10 of cups that was at the bottom of the deck. So I know again that this has to do with cups. So for me, I feel like what's changing, right? That anxious energy that I was getting here, that energy of, you know, like she's fiddling with her feet and she's kind of like, eh, like it's an uncomfortable, I feel like it's an uncomfortable, like, energy it's like an anxious energy and i feel like it's because i think it's like your heart is like opening up <laughs> i know i'm saying that uh so weird but it's like there's a death and rebirth with the king of water so i feel like this has to do with your the way that you're seeing love right and i feel like the only way that you're seeing like the reason that you're seeing love differently is because you have changed right there is a difference now with the king of water and the death and rebirth card i think that they have been really trying maybe to heal you but there's definitely something about children in this reading we have children here we have a child here and we have the child card right so i definitely think that and in the Ten of Cups, there's a child. But now I'm thinking like this, this might actually be like, for some of you, someone that you would like actually have a child with, right? Because I have the Ten of, like, I, again, I'm getting a lot of child energy here. So I do feel actually like for some of you that this person is someone that you would like actually have kids with and like actually grow old with. And aside from that, it's like, there's a total birth, like a re, redoing to your heart right like do you see how the baby is like still in the egg it's like they have healed your heart i would want to say back to its like original form or back to a state where it's not like in pain all the time like there's they've definitely done some like with the golden light here they've and the snake they've definitely done a lot of work on trying to heal that aspect of you right and i feel like 
it doesn't necessarily mean that you're masculine or feminine. I mean, it's just the vibe, right? Like the, the cup energy. And it's interesting to me because I feel like that's the uncomfortable energy. But I, I feel like there's a, there's a message like you can fight it or you can embrace it. So it's like, yeah, you want to feel stable, but I don't think you do. And you want to feel relaxed, but you don't. So I feel like, again, because I had the two of coins out. So I feel like the decision that you have to make is more in your mind, right? It's like your heart is here. I feel like you're blaming it on your heart. Like you can be blaming it that your heart's not ready, but I'm getting it's more of like when the mind catches up to, like the mind is in the same space as the heart. Remember I was saying like the two kids could be like, there's something about transformation. Yeah, like they're transforming your heart, but I also think like, with the two kids, it was kind of like this duality within you, right? It's like you, your heart is already caught up, but your mind isn't there yet. So it's, <laughs> your mind is not there yet. So that's the only way for this to, to feel this stability, right? Because we have a lot about pentacles and I feel like that's the energy. It's like, it makes you feel unstable. And I think what makes you feel unstable is being vulnerable you know like because it has to do with pentacles it's like you don't feel steady right you don't feel you feel like this isn't like us you know when people invest or people spend again i was saying that this is something to do with like an investment of your time and i feel like it's not even an investment of your time that you're worried about it's investment of, with your heart but i feel like your heart is already there right and it's your mind that is like playing tricks on you at this time and when i say tricks on you it's telling you like don't this is a bad idea or you're gonna end up getting hurt like do you know what i'm saying it's like the negative nancy in the background and that's that's what this is and it's like once the mind catches up to like like the heart's already there i feel like you might say like oh i don't feel it or like i'm not ready or like that's just not the way that i am but no it's like the cup the king of cup is here <laughs> like you can't say that you're not because like it's here but here it's like i can see like mental the mental is not there yet but once you have this mental clarity everything is going to come together right this is kind of like the balance right and i definitely feel a balance right because it's like we have the two of coins right and then we have the temperance card so i feel like they're trying to like let you know that it's it's the mind it's the mind causing the conflict here again we have swords so it's it's again it's the mind that's causing you to feel like this energy of i want to say again i'm unbalanced anxiety fear right i would say mostly fear and i think this this is this will be a regret of yours i will say that for sure like even here i'm getting like it kind of looked like a red bird and I thought of the cardinal right away, but I think it's actually like a phoenix. But again, it doesn't matter. Each of them apply. The cardinal, again, can symbolize love and this phoenix is the death and rebirth, right? So again, there's a death and rebirth that needs to take place. And I already feel like it has in your heart, but I just feel like your mind needs to catch up to it now. Your mind is the one that's confusing you. I think you think your heart is... I think your heart, again, maybe you've been hurt in the past and you're like, I can't trust my heart. But right now, what you can't trust is your mind. And I think that there is, again, for some of you, like, this is a family for you, right? With the child card here. And I mean, I'm getting like the, like a family vibe here. So for some of you, there is kind of a lot at stake. I think that you're more than ready because your heart's already there, right? And I feel like, <laughs> it's just funny to me because it's like confirmation right that like this is something you desire i feel like this ten of cups is something that you desire i think like you hold you might hold yourself back from it right but i i think you're getting a lot of aid i think this is the bodhisattva right um uh, i can't remember the name it's a very long word but yeah this bodhisattva helps is said to have like helped everyone on this earth so I feel like you're receiving a lot of guidance. Again, you had this total death and rebirth. And I think they're trying to kind of align you, right? I'm getting this alignment. You see how like the colors match perfectly too? Like we're going from red up and we're going from red up with the chakras. So again, I think this, this is something that you can feel, right? This is definitely something you can feel inside. So it's again, a lot of your like i feel like we have the wands i feel like we have the cup i feel like 
what's missing or what we still like what's what's really the problem is the sword and the mind right but then again you have the intuition card out <laughs> so it's like the sword can be seen as intuition as well and i feel like you have the intuition card out under desire so i feel like that's not even a thing like even the sword like there's some place that this is getting a little bit like eh, and <laughs> it's making you feel some sort of way but you're you're so ready <laughs> and i don't know if you need me to tell you like you're ready but you're like so ready right because your intuition is in sync with your desires like your your mind i feel like this is a sword energy to me intuition it's like clarity right even though it might not be in the mind like necessarily it could be in the gut right because intuition is your gut feeling it's the way you feel about something so maybe your gut feeling is on point too your gut your gut is telling you is directing you into a path right again we have all this energy of you kind of being ready and yet like you suffer at the hands of remaining unbalanced and i guess i think people just underestimate the mind and the power of the mind and the ability that it can have to like you know mess with your like mess with everything right but again there's the potential of coming into balance because we have the gut feeling going the right way we have the rebirth of the emotions the heart right we have the ton of cups out and we have the ace of cups out so i just feel like get your mind <laughs> like this is the only thing that i see you struggling with and i know you're gonna be okay i think this instability is caused by a, a i don't know if it's like a possessiveness but you got okay so this pearl right and this card reminds me of this pearl and king of cups right and this is the first time this has ever like synced them two together and we have king of cups twice so I'm like, what is the relation of this card? And I feel like the problem is that I feel like if you express yourself, right? If you let them know how you actually feel, like if you actually told, like if you actually, like the fear is, I feel like where the mind, what, this is like with the, with the mind, right? Like why is the mind saying no? And I feel like the mind is saying no because there's a, or the mind is like not yet on that level because there's something here about you know that like once you say you you express like how possessive i feel like you are up to this person i feel like once you exp I, I feel like there's something about being your true self right there's something here about being your like true authentic self right like i feel like there is a energy within you that like is actually a little bit possessive and an energy in you that like like it's not even about being possessive it's like actually caring it's just the like you actually care you're just saying this person's guarding this pearl and i feel like the fact is that you actually do care and i feel like you think that if you were to let that power go of like i actually get care that you would be messed like you'd be like oh that's it i gave all my power away but that's not what they're saying like if for whoever that is for that thinks that like if they say how they feel and they lose some sort of power the heaven and earth is under this <laughs> so it's like telling me that if you are able to express yourself in the way that you genuinely feel because we have the king of cup out twice here so it's just like there's no denying how you feel i think you're just to yourself one of the fears that you have i mean i feel like i'm in someone's like fears like if i'm like reading someone's fears right now and the other fears like if i tell them how i feel i lose my power right because when it's all fun and games and we're all just like having a good time there's no pressure but once we put pressure on a situation things don't work out and i'm like i'm i'm trying to let you know that that's not even a thing right like that's a past energy that's a past hurt and that's that's not i feel like it's just all in your head that's not even a thing like like we have the king of cup out twice the ace of cups with the sun so it's again it's like i don't know if you know what these cards mean but the sun is literally like the best card in the tarot deck and the ace of cups is like a promise that this is a divine thing right that this is like from the gods that this is like you know what i mean like that thing that i feel like you get struck you know like love at first sight thing like and you know what i mean that that's it's a, it's that type of vibe right and it's so beneath this relationship and this love that you put like these fears there from the head because like this is again there's so many parts of you that are ready it's just this one part and again whatever whoever fears giving away their power whoever feels like telling this person how much they care would like make a lot like be a loss for them or an l 
it's not true right with the heaven and earth it's like the only way to achieve this goal to achieve whatever it is that you want with this person which i feel like is this ten of cups right this happy family happy life like emotional fulfillment for the rest of your life the only way to actually do that is to be the king of cups right but with the child card the sun and the ace of cups i think uh, this transformation that you're, that's taking place right like the bears were transforming it's already taken place with the king of cups coming first and last it's already here maybe there's an an energy of you like being in a king of cups mode and then leaving it and coming back to it but it's again it's still coming back to yourself right i think you're coming back to yourself you're opening up your heart and you're coming back to who you are and this is I don't even know how to explain how this is but this, like this is so beautiful it's just this is meant to be like this would bring you happiness this could this will fulfill you in some way and i'm really thinking like again for you some of you guys there is like a child or a family here for you with this person So you guys got Wasp Spirit in reverse and you got Dolphin Spirit in reverse. And I didn't even see Dolphin Spirit, but <laughs> this reading is just literally crazy to me. So I feel like with Wasp Spirit, it flew. Both of them flew to like this corner, right? Like right here where we were talking about the King of Cups. I remember I was saying how the King of Cups, this can sometimes mean possessiveness. Well, the Wasp Spirit in reverse literally talks about like, are you holding on to anger? Are you holding on to resentment? Are you holding on to jealousy? What are you still holding on to from a past cycle that hurt you, right? And maybe what hurt you in the past cycle triggered you, right? Like you were angry, je jealous. Again, maybe something happened in a past cycle. But with this coming out in reverse, I feel like they want you to know that, yeah, the message is sometimes life sings, but I'm not going to leave it like that. I'm going to say, again, with this 10 coming out, the 64 is a 10, I feel like with what this card is trying to tell you with it coming out in reverse is like yeah they understand that that past cycle might have been painful but that is something that needs to be released right those feelings that hurt you in the past maybe there's a little bit of healing left to be done but that's again i feel like that has something to do with this violet flame but i think that yeah there might be still some healing left to do and i feel like it the best way to heal something is to i mean you can write it down you could tell somebody about it you can i mean i feel like for me writing helps but for others i think I, just talking to someone would help there's a lot of ways that we can finish the cycle out but i see with the 64 that it's the end right and i feel obviously like you have this really really beautiful beginning right and with dolphin spirit in reverse the message of dolphin spirit is this and that are true but it's in reverse so it's telling me like you don't understand someone else's point of view you don't see someone else's side of the story so i feel like with this wasp spirit and uh the dolphin spirit it's also saying like i feel like whatever you think happened here this other i feel like this other person has their side of the story right because dolphin spirit is talking about this and that are true right so i feel like you're unable to see someone else's side of the story and that is what I feel like keeps the sting in, right? Like once you're able to understand why someone else did what they did, I feel like then we can like remove the stinger. So with Dolphin Spirit coming out, I just want to read to you from the book something that it says. It says, release your rigidity and embrace the fluidity of life. What you think is wrong may end up being right for you. So let Dolphin Spirit soften your heart so that you make the best possible decision at this time playing with the possibilities that present themselves that's what i feel like this whole reading is about there's obviously like a decision right and we have a lot to do with like your heart right we're talking about your heart opening again coming back to yourself right and this talks about softening the heart so i feel like everything's kind of tied into this and it's like they just want you to make the best possible decision playing with the possibilities that present themselves what you think is wrong may end up being right there are two sides to every story an upside to each downside and a blessing in every challenge 
I, I think like sometimes you might not understand why this had to hurt so bad and like why this stung the way it did and like why this even had to happen. But again, it's like there's a reason again to for everything. And instead of like holding on to that resentment or remembering how you felt in that time when you weren't again anger, um, jealousy, it's like time to let it go because I feel like with the heaven and earth coming out underneath it, it's saying that whatever this is, whatever this decision is whoever this person is i think again that it's 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 right for you right with the ace of cups the sun heaven and earth ten of cups <sighs> two king of cups i mean it's a crazy reading guys so you guys have isis the goddess of magic sexual energy is sacred my pleasure is a prayer that brings me back to life i honestly think that isis could just really be close to at this time um, wanting to help you with this healing right wanting to help you with this rebirth because I have the snake around her so I feel like there's something here with her trying to resurrect like rebirth right the situ again it could be a rebirth to a situation right like a reconciliation res again I'm thinking of the word resurrection a lot and even temperance again could mean resurrect um could be some sort of reconciliation so i feel like with the death and rebirth resurrection rebirth again it's a rebirth to your heart it could be and that, i mean it's a rebirth it's a new beginning for you in your heart but i also feel like she's just really specifically trying to guide you at this time she's really present and if you need like any help i would call on isis because i feel like she's for some reason for some of you isis is very very important and i feel like you guys have to do some research about her and like try to get connect with her and like call onto her because i feel like this is the second or third time that uh aries has gotten isis so for some of you watching uh isis is like very important and i also feel like with the desire and isis coming out that i feel like where your gut is leading you to again it might have a lot to do with like she is the god of sexual energy right so i feel like this has a lot of sacral chakra right to me the sacral chakra maybe this again is like a death and rebirth again not only to the heart but i'm thinking of again this looks yellow but i'm i'm thinking of the sacral chakra and i think that for a lot of you guys this is not only like an emotional connection but it's a very very physical one and maybe that's why we're getting so much earth energy right because i feel like there's definitely some like physicality to this relationship uh like a lot of passion it's not even wand energy right i feel like it's actually just like I mean, it could it could just be want energy, but for some reason, I thought of Earth. So I, I don't know. That's kind of weird. But yeah, guys, I love you guys. I hope this reading resonates with you, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.